kept you waiting, huh? Alright, so I kind of messed up here, and I decided, I just decided, you know, I'm just gonna play this final boss here on normal. It, it, I guess I should have expected, you know, a difficult spike the final boss. Whatever. I'm just gonna show off the last bosses in normal, and, uh, if I play more later, maybe I'll play on a higher difficulty. I just got too worked up with trying to show off the, uh, you know, highest difficulty. I just don't, don't really got time for that. Now, hopefully you already saw this, but I'm gonna leave this text up a little bit here. It's been so long. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to um, make sure I don't leave big gaps in Let's Plays anymore, and I'm not gonna... If I start with a challenge or something, I'm gonna, you know, abandon it if it starts seeming like it's just gonna you know, harm my ability to actually play the damn thing. Also, I'm trying a new method of um, recording now. I'm doing everything in OBS instead of... I used to record in Bandicam, and I rather like it. It has a few drawbacks, though, and this, even more importantly, allows me to record everything in a single way. So, basically everything I do is through everything I record anyway. It's pretty much through the same software, which, as you might expect, uh, it's pretty beneficial. Now, this still has its little performance hitches. I do love Flash games, but I mean, this is this is uh, Adobe Air, but it's still basically Flash. It's, uh, it's a trade-off between performance and uh, you know features and all that stuff, and it's it's pretty clear where Flash ended up exactly on that chart. But I still love it. I still love the games made for it anyway, if not necessarily- Ah! Flash itself. Dang, you really get a wide bomb chance in normal. Oh, yeah. Um... But yeah, hopefully this will make things a little easier. I- the reason I wasn't recording in Bandicam- or in OBS in the first place was because Bandicam lets me record multiple tracks, audio tracks, and that's super useful for editing. I didn't realize- oops. Um, but OBS actually has exactly the functionality I need. I tried to use it before, but I didn't realize. Um, if anybody's curious, I could probably throw together a quick tutorial for that. It's a lot easier than I thought it was. There's just a menu for audio mixing that I did not see at all. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. I will say, the jump in difficulty in this boss feels a little weird. The, the normal really does not feel like a challenge, and then even hard is... Uh, I couldn't do it. I, I'm sure with practice and stuff, but... I mean, I stopped my way through most of the game on super hard, or whatever it's called, heavenly. And, uh... I guess it's really pretty common for shoot 'em ups final bosses to be like that. And considering this game is not a one credit clear, sort of, like, it's by levels, not by, um, you know, 100% completion. Um, I can't complain as much as of that pattern, but generally speaking, I don't really like how the final boss tends to be a massive difficulty spike. Like, in my opinion, Death Smiles, um, it's just so weird that most of the game is quite accessible in Death Smiles, but then the final boss... It really is, um, you know, pretty much what you expect from the genre in a bad way. It's really damn hard, all out of nowhere. And even most of his stage isn't really that hard compared to him. It's just weird. It's kind of... it's very similar to... if you play the game on a high difficulty, he's not really that much of a difficulty spike, but if you play the game in the easiest possible difficulty, like, his minimum level of difficulty is extremely high. And there's not anything you can do about that. Because that game has an interesting difficulty mechanic, where you kind of pick and choose your difficulty as you go. And so if you want, you can play it pretty easy, you can skip the hardest level in the game. Um, but the final boss is always going to be a big roadblock, damn it. And there's really nothing you can do about that. Uh, it, it gets, it does get harder, but it's minimum difficulty, like I said. It's not, damn it, that low. Damn it. 
I'll see, yeah, since I'm getting back into streams, I think I might I might do some more streams of some games like this. I think I do need to show off Death Smiles PC. I have a Death Smiles um, video from the 360 version. Do we do it? Is Akron obliterated forever? Probably find a way to revive himself again. But we destroyed him for now. Flow of evil monsters should stop. We did it! We saved the galaxy! I'm so proud of everyone. Affirmative. Everything went through according to my plan. I acted rashly and endangered my crew. Whoops. They won't notice. We are so cool! I'll tell my grandchildren stories about this someday. Hmm. Since this is the end of the game, I should probably say, Thanks for playing Bullet Heaven 2! You hope you enjoyed it and keep playing. Hey, player, congratulations. You pilot good. You're alright. No credit roll right now. But if you want, you can check out who made the game from the main menu. Go follow them on Twatter or whatever. So we're working on Epic Battle Fantasy V and other stuff. Meow! And yes, work on Epic Battle Fantasy V looks pretty good, actually. Um, if you don't follow Matt on Twitter, he tweets out a lot of, like, enemy designs and stuff. Um, it looks like progress. Like, I wasn't sure there was ever going to be an EBF5, like, a year or so ago. And now it... Production seems to be in full swing. Oh, I also heard, I think it was Slime Bunny. Somebody recommended Slime Bunny, I believe, me for that fight. So let's go ahead and... I've beaten the... Let's go ahead and do the extra boss. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, rank 666. I almost don't want to lose that. I do like the starting wave thing that you can do for practice. But, uh... Actually, let's, let's go ahead and try Slime Bunny. I've gotten so many suggestions for what things to use, but uh, it's been a long time since I played, so I kind of forget a lot of them. Did I show off the final boss? This is the problem of me, you know, doing long breaks between these Let's Plays. That's why I'm going to stop, is because I, I forget what I've already discussed, if I've shown off certain things, if I've made certain jokes. It's just a pain. I think I'm going to try to sit down and do... Like, if I'm going to do a multi-episode Let's Play, which is, you know, always a question mark. I think I'm gonna, you know, decide to myself, I'm gonna go, like, record a couple episodes at a time and try to keep up with, you know, one series sort of Let's Play at a time, and then just not continue something else until I finish it up. I really like the theme for this boss. I have not been practicing, so what you see is what you get. I'm gonna try to get back in the mood for shoot 'em ups, and then because I have a bunch that I need to show off. Um, but somebody went and asked in the stream actually if I was gonna finish up the let's play and made me feel bad. So I decided, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna play on normal. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna worry about stupid crap. I'm just gonna play the damn game. I mean, you know, any sane person would probably, you know, just play on normal and worry about the higher difficulties later. Yeah, I shouldn't try and show off in a particularly hard game, you know. I didn't use any cheats though, so whatever. One complication, it's not as bad as with as I am with rhythm games, but it is a little hard to keep your concentration while talking while playing these games. That's why it would help to be, you know, in the mood for them, like, just, you know, your skill transfers pretty well in shoot 'em ups to other games, you know, not necessarily complex scoring mechanics, but it's not like fighting games necessarily where you have to, like, relearn, like, lots of different moves and stuff per game and, like, matchups and stuff. So I find the skill transfer amount is a lot higher than it is for a lot of other genres. It's hard, but you pretty much learn the whole genre at once. Unless you're talking like you're trying to go like pure score runs, but you know, 90% of people don't care that much about that. That I like that his boss meter, it actually goes over to the left when he's over in the left corner like that. I didn't notice that at first. Not many bosses actually do that, but that's cute. There's a lot of other cool, really cool shoot 'em ups that I want to play and talk about, and I just really need to let stop letting my performance anxiety affect me like that. Ugh. Let's 
got to think about anxiety of any variety. It's not really under your control. It's all... Oh, that was the bonus. Oh, look at the slime bunny. I mean, his portrait on the left, or right. You know, directions, whatever. We kill them dead. The lungs aren't alive, you potato. They're just magic rocks. Which great rock might soon hit you on the head. Magically. See? Oh, whatever. Yeah, I'm the biggest fan. Oh, wait. You graze, raise you. It's been so long, I've completely... I think weapon charge rate is generally what I wanted. We haven't seen much of dry no legs. I'll play on dry, as a dry no legs. I think the weapon charge rate is generally what I want, because it does more. Oh yeah. That one. Let's do one more secret boss. This one... I don't know, I haven't beat it on... I'll just show it on. You get the gist of things on normal. That's kind of... That's something I really like about... Um... Games is, you know, even on the lowest difficulty, you, you pretty much... Get the primary gist of it. Though usually... There's certain things like... Certain patterns that don't fire or whatever... On the lowest difficulty. That's a good way to manage difficulty. <laughs> I checked by terrorists. Final boss is a terrorist. You're not the final boss. Special boss, whatever. Those don't seem to put the hurt like I was expecting. Forget all the squishy death sounds. I love the little crab! Look at the little crab! I think that was a design goal he said was the bosses would all be like big huge monsters controlled by tiny cute things. Grazing is a mechanic I never really bothered too much to learn. I, I can kind of do it. Um, in Hiddo Gotta Hapa and a few other games, uh, if you graze enough, the, the, it gives you a full screen wipe of all bullets, and that's pretty useful. Oh. I think these the boss themes are, you know, they're they're shared with the main story bosses, but they're different from whatever world they're in, so it gives you a tiny bit of variety. minutes? I guess I can slip one more boss in here. I got a live stream to get to in a bit, but uh, I can do a couple a boss or two. Alright, have I bought everything? I forget about that. I think Matt said it's like you can deal slightly more damage if absolutely everything hits if you charge, but like it's really not a big deal DPS wise if you charge or don't. Like I said, I've probably discussed that before. But, uh. I'm gonna finish up this Let's Play, I'm gonna finish up a couple others. There's a few... A couple Let's Plays I'm actually gonna have to like totally restart if I want to redo... Oof. But, uh... That's my problem and I'll deal with it. I also want to get back to, uh... I'm gonna do at least a couple more videos on Headlander. And like I promised... I promised a, f a boss fight in Song of the Deep. I need to get back on that one. Yeah, I wanted to. I needed to sort of take a break and figure out my streaming stuff. And I'm feeling a lot more comfortable with streaming. I'm definitely not going to do it every day like I did for this past week. But uh, I do want to. I, I want to have a schedule. Stick to it. I want to have a specific time that all my stream starts, which I think that's going to be 6 p.m. Central. That's worked out pretty fine. It's just enough time for me to eat a quick dinner get home from work no matter when I leave. I usually leave a little bit early and have like a short lunch. Uh, sometimes I don't, but either way I'll have enough time to get home by 6. Or start streaming by 6. I don't really need to eat immediately before a stream anyway.
Also, I'm not really sure what I should do for Epic Battle Fantasy 4 or 5. I, I I kind of tried and failed to come up with an idea of something to do for 4. Uh, I was gonna do like updates of like w whenever I fight a boss or something and that kind of fell off. Uh, with Epic Battle Fantasy 3, I kind of finished it myself before I did any videos and I just did a video of me beating the final boss on hardest difficulty. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother my difficulty for this one, because I've got I've got less time than when I did that one. I like the games, but I don't know if I've got the uh, patience with final difficulty stuff. I just remember in in the first bullet heaven, you could die from those revenge bullets that the bosses shoot when they die. And lots of games do that, and there's actually achievement for getting hit after the boss, I think. Or dying after the boss dies. This filthy creatures masked up a perfectly good vehicle. I could have appropriated it into my arsenal. Don't you have enough tanks yet? I do have a habit of blowing them up during my finishing moves. <laughs> maybe you need to budget your resources a bit, or better yet, maybe don't drop tanks on your enemies all the time. Drop tanks on people? Strange idea. Okay, three stars. Let me see, have I bought everything? Characters definitely sold out. Cheats. Oh, some cheats. Die. Oh, dang, those are expensive. Never use the cheats anyway. Oh, dang, the invincibility is crazy expensive. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. yeah of course, it, it's been a while since I talked about cheats, but yeah, you can put on cheats and then make the game easier. Well, performance. Frames? Frames? Where did my frames go? What did you do to my frames? Dry bones. Or dry cat. Dry no legs. My frames! Okay. I'm not I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Are you better? Back? Alright, let's try this guy. Not the biggest fan of dry no legs. Wait, what? Get back to that. Sure. I'm sort of tank again. This one's flying. It looks a little weird. They're cute little sand people piloting. Let's bring it down. C c calm down. Yes, sir, chief. Calm down. Man. Um. Oh right, this is the one that I liked for sure. Watch my call it. Not bomb, but the like secondary ability. Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, Matt said on Twitter he's he was thinking like the one flaw he that the game had in terms of accessibility was he probably should have made like some mode where there's like permanent upgrades instead of calling them cheats because I guess I guess that still made people feel kind of bad. Which I mean, I don't know. It's all you know. It's all in the mind, but. Some, some people kind of just want to be told they're great winners and, you know, have permanent progress. Like, open world stuff has kind of spoiled a pe lot of people on a lot of stuff. Like, I... Um... Crap, what game was it? Somebody complained that, you know, you don't progress gameplay-wise, and, you know, the game stays mostly the same, but there's just more things thrown at you. It's like, well, not every game needs to have, you know, upgrade systems, and random drops and level ups and stuff. Oh, crap, what game was that? It was like an action game, like a action platformer or something. Like not something that like you would expect there to be persistent upgrades and stuff in, but you know, people expect that anyway, because everything has to be open world now. And you gotta you know you gotta climb the tower to fill your map and you know get the ego booster, you know, revenge kill, extra bonus weapon and all that crap. There's a lot you can do. Oh, right, it was Uncharted 4. Um, so the game, like, gameplay-wise, it introduces a whole tons of new enemies. It gives you more guns and stuff. But, you know, I, I guess Nate doesn't gain, you know, a triple jump. So they were, you know, offended that, you know, Nate isn't the Lipizo or whatever the hell his name is from Ass Creed And, you know, doesn't learn whatever the hell he learns. I don't even remember learning too much in the original... Assassin's Creed. I only I've only played the first Assassin's Creed, 
And I, I know everybody says 2 is the best one, but uh, I enjoyed it, but I kind of had my fill. I only really need one open world game per year, honestly. I played Metal Gear Solid 5 in 2015. It was really all I needed. I had a fair number of RPGs, but I mean, as far as the plain old Western-ish, no, not actually a Western game, but you know, that sort of um, Assassin's Creed style open world thing with really bad missions copy and pasted. That's all I needed for, you know, a whole year is just that one game in that genre. I can play a lot of RPGs, but I don't really have time to play a lot of RPGs, so... And RPGs kind of take place of the, um, big old grind fest, open world grind fest that a lot of people like in terms of Western AAA. But I don't really play a lot of that. If I, I don't think I even have a big open world RPG for this, or non-RPG for this. Those weren't sand people, those were wraiths. It's kind of racist, you know? Chill out, dude. They won't bother us no more. Don't worry about it. Oh well. Alright, well, this has been Bullet Heaven. We'll continue with the, unfortunately, normal mode bosses, but who knows. Maybe I'll, I think I'll, if I want to try a higher difficulty or something, I'll do a stream instead of a Let's Play thing. And I'll just try to keep the Let's Play sort of stuff going without worrying about crazy high challenges and stuff. Yeah, that was, that was fun to get back to this. I'll, I'll make sure I finish it up before I do anything too crazy. Uh, thanks for watching.